Hello friends, welcome to Explore YouTube channel. Today in this tutorial video, we will be going to learn how to use VLOOKUP in VBA to search by text or by alphabets. Similarly, we use this format for HLOOKUP2 where data is being represented in horizontal form and we have to search by text or alphabet. No matter how big or small is your data, you just need to follow the coding we will be going to learn in this video so friends here you can see in sheet 1 we have some data employee name the designation the location where they have been placed and the sale they have made and depending on that the incentives they will be getting and total where the sale sum and the incentive sum is being added to get the final total so First, what we have to do is we have to make this box over here, which I have presented in video one, where we search by serial number or figure or number. But here we'll be going to search by text, means we will be going to search by name or any alphabetical word you'll be going to use. But over there in video one, we used to search by number, serial number or digit you can say. So here we have to go to first developer tab. If you do not have this tab, then go to file first. Then here go to options and then go to customize ribbon. Here you have to go to main tabs and then you can find the develop tab over here. Click on it and add it. I have already added it over here. You can see. So that's why I don't need it anymore to be added. So I click on OK. So we have to click on developer tab and then we have to go to visual basics. Here, here friends you can see I have prepared a user form 1. How to prepare user form? I have mentioned all the steps in video 1 and here we are not going to rephrase those steps. Here we will be going to just enter the coding how to search by text. So let's start a coding work. So friends, here we mention the coding. First, we have to write on add a resume next. Means if it can find the data, then the search should shift to the next text box. So here, like I mentioned here in the user form one, this is text box one. This is text box two. You can see the name of the text box on the right side in the properties and up to here is the text box number six and that's why I mentioned here text box two equal to dash dash means double quotes open double quotes and so we have to write this up to text box six so what we have to do is we have to copy this and we have to paste it three four more times up to text box number six and we will change the text box name over here the figure and afterwards we'll be going to start the coding here you can see over here i have mentioned the coding where text box 2 dot value equal to means whatever we search in text box number one over here in this text box one whatever we search here it should display here in text box number two so what we have to do is text box 2 dot value equal to application dot function function dot vlookup so we are using over here vlookup but this time we open the parenthesis or open bracket then we mention text box one dot value means and you can see here on the right side i have mentioned in the spreadsheet vlookup formula so vlookup formula always asks what is your lookup value my lookup value is, is in text box one dot value whatever right over here in text box one comma table array so my table array over here is in sheet 1 this is sheet 1 and here my range is from a9 until f19 is my table array range like mentioned in the formula over here so my column index will be now 2 because I am looking for designation of the person to display in text num box number 2 so here you can see after we mention the range, I put column number 2 
which is designation friends always remember we look up always start from left to right and afterwards i put comma and then force force means to display the exact value so here let's play this one first i am searching for tim here this is my text box one and i click on check and you can see the designation is being displayed over here so we will do the same function for rest of the columns too here i have mentioned and correct the text box over here that the value text box 1 should display in text box 3 similarly in text box 4 text box 5 and text box 6 and i have to change the column of text box 2 as well because whatever being to be displayed in text box 3 it lies in column number 3 similarly for text box 4 it lies in column number 4 friends let's play this one and see the rest of the results to be displayed in text boxes so now you can see here if we are going to search for the name Rosie no matter you write in capital or small letters and click on check you can see the details of Rosie are being displayed here in all the text boxes from designation until the total so Rosie has the designation executive and she lies in South B location she has made sale of 805 and she has got 325 incentive and her total is 1130 so you can see here all the information is being displayed over here is correct search hlookup via text so what we have to do is we have to go back to developer tab we have to go to visual basics we have to go to insert and create a new user form but already i have created a user form over here for hlookup to be searched by text the details are same because here if you can see in the spreadsheet all the details are same which are being lies in vertical form in VLOOKUP and here the data is only being displayed in horizontal form so what we have to do is we have to check the coding over here similarly let's add VBA coding for HLOOKUP here already we have just mentioned on a resume next text box to equal to double quotes double quotes means if the value is not being fine then the search should display to the next text search box or text box so here is the coding where we use text box to value dot equal to application dot worksheet function dot h lookup this time friends make sure you have to use h lookup you are not using the vlookup and the formula is rest is same we just need to identify few little things open bracket text box one dot value means whatever we display here in text box one should get answer for text box two so let's understand this formula friends you can see over here that hlookup is being looking for the lookup value and the lookup value is being lies in text box one whatever text we write in text box one should get answer for text box two so here the next thing is we have to mention the table array from a16 until l21 so we mentioned this over here in the formula sheet 2 make sure this time our data is being lies in sheet 2 so sheet 2 dot range and here in inverted commas we have to mention the table array then close the bracket put comma and this time we are looking for row index number our row one is employee name second row is designation where the value of text book two, two is being lies put comma and then put false false means exact value now friends in a quick succession i just add value of other text boxes so we can run the formula at same time Friends, i have added other text boxes too and i have mentioned the right name here in front of the text boxes three four five six and similarly i have corrected their rows as well because text box three data lies in row number three and four lies in row number four similarly for row five and row six and now we will going to run this h lookup we will going to search by text so you can see here the last name of the employee name is Sina second last name so I just entered Sina and click on check so you can see here her designation is senior, senior manager it mentioned over here she is being residing in West 1 and here it is West 1 and she has made sale of 100 and got incentive of 90 and then total is 190 all the values are being displayed here correctly 
no matter how small is your data or how big is your data you just need to follow the right steps like we learned in this video too where we used vlookup and hlookup to be searched by text this works very well when you are just looking for a quick value or detail in a very less time then you can use this user form instead of mentioning the hlookup formula each time you learned how to use vlookup and hlookup to be searched by text value in vba coding or vba user form you can say because it takes a lot of effort efforts to bring a quality videos for you guys please like share and subscribe explore youtube channel thank you for watching explore youtube channel